Hey, how's it going guys? Matt with Show and Tell here. And I recently got a couple boxes of English Exodus from a, uh, a buddy of mine in a trade for some artwork. So I'm gonna open one. I'm gonna stash the other one away, most likely. Oh, let's see. All of them really have really gorgeous seals. Uh, the Wizards logo's there. Everything's great. They have the right tautness, if you will, for the for the plastic. Nothing looks like it's been either stretched out or resealed or anything like that. So let's do this one. Let's see what we get. All this crazy buyout stuff is happening with all these reserve list cards. And, well, most of the cards in Exodus are not, not exempt from that. City of Traders, last I look, is over 200 now. Survival is pushing almost a hundred, something like that. So, and I imagine it's only going to go up from here. So we'll see if we can get some nice uh, gradable copies of any of the above. Let's get these packs out. So some of the old sets they used to do like a little blue ticket. This one can't really see it but they stamped the box there with a with a code I'm sure it pertains to the printing well, let's set those there all right first pack oh ideally survival city what mind over matter recurring nightmare would be ideal hey soul warden I'm gonna set some of the better commons aside you know in the exodus box that I opened of this there was always a soul warden and i think it was a wood elves they were always together so and the rare oh yeah the rares in the middle Loras dungeon all right first rare kill surgeon avenging druid Gothi Warlord, Shadow. Yeah, all those creatures with Shadow. Dalakos Drifters. Even though I'm wearing gloves, I can tell the cardstock is so much different on these older, older sets. If you've never... Hey, Fade Away. I love that card. If you uh, if you get a chance, if you've never opened any of these old packs, you know, next time you're at a trusted store or at a Grand Prix or something, I'd pick a pack up just to crack it. Memory Crystal. Maybe you'll get lucky. You never know. Speaking of wearing gloves, I know not everybody not everybody likes wearing gloves to open product or handle expensive cards. I typically don't wear gloves when I handle expensive cards. The reason I do it on camera is because, well, I'm going to stand here for 20 minutes. Erratic portal. And my palms get sweaty. So while gloves can actually damage pristine cards because it leaves a residue, and if you're not careful, you can actually grip and mess with the surface of a card with a glove. But I've been doing it long enough, I feel pretty confident. And I've had a lot of nine fives and some tens come out of stuff I've opened and Oath of Leashes that I've opened with gloves. So, and I know that if, uh, it's weird, it kind of cut out there for a second. Sorry about that guys. What I was saying is I know my palms get sweaty. Uh, it's going to, you know, really affect the grade of a card. Paladin and Vec. So I prefer to avoid that at all costs. I don't know why my camera just did that. It kind of just, it beeped at me and then it just turned off. But I have got 80% battery, so. Whatever. High ground. Cartographer. Oath of Scholars. Last time, too, that I opened one of these boxes, I got... Almost two of every oath or something crazy. I was not a big fan of that box. But it happens.
Spike Weaver. There we go. I mean, it's not... I don't think Spike Weaver is on the... No, it's not on the reserve list, but... It's a nice $10 card. I don't believe I got any of those in that Korean box. Which is probably good. Because that means it's hopefully a different run. Both of mages. Which means probably, hopefully... We get a City of Traders. So I definitely don't intend to make my money back on these boxes. At least not short term. Entropic Spectre. I think that art is really, really cool. Really cool. Not a great card anymore. But hey. You know, eventually graded cards, if they're graded well enough, or they have a low enough population, are going to be worth a pretty penny. So, long term, I can see this box paying for itself, but then again, in the future, you know, box prices are going to be more. Especially after doing stuff like this. Every box I open makes them more expensive, technically. Survival! There we go! Man, look at that thing. Very clean. Very well centered. Well. Yeah, I mean it's it's well centered. Oh, let me hit the camera here. The top to bottom though is gonna get probably counted off. No dents or surface issues. The corners have a little curl to them. And I'll be honest, I really don't know how much that affects the grade. Uh, I mean, obviously, it'll affect the grade to some extent. But, yeah, that'll be one we, we send in. And I also have to double-check prices. I think they're pushing around 100 bucks, but they could be more. I mean, reserve list, great card. Wall of Nets. Have well, we just been skipping Soul Wardens, or is that my only one? Because if that's the only one, that's odd. Oh, yeah, of course, right? Talk about it. Well, hold on. Let's talk about City some more then, maybe. Price, Reconnaissance. That card's worth a little bit of money, too. Like four bucks, I want to say. I mean, price is worth a couple bucks, but... Oath of Ghouls. That's the reserve list. Not worth much of anything, unfortunately, because it doesn't do anything. Not like survival. Hey, another Soul Warden. Seismic Assault. Not reserve list. Good card. Uh, see some competitive play here and there. Just a fun card overall, though. Plus, this is the best art for it, period. Hands down, I think. There's some good art, but this is the best, in my opinion. Oh, not even halfway through. So we got a survival. We got a few other decent cards. The Spike Weaver. The Seismic, that kind of stuff. Coat of Arms. That's... Again, another, what, $10 card in Black Border. Not what we're wanting still. Cataclysm, hey. With Dominaria out, there you go. There's the weather light. Well, getting... Getting wrecked. That's another uh, five, six, seven dollar card somewhere in that that ballpark. Coalescence. I remember opening that card as a kid all the time. Always thought it was cool, but it was not good. 
Because at, at a certain point, if you're below 10 life all the time, you're doing something wrong. Or you're doing something totally right if you're some sort of combo deck that uses life as a, as a tool. Dominating Listen. That's on the reserve list. Worth a couple bucks. The only thing is... I don't know if I can get it on camera. See, yeah, right there. See that? Upper left corner? It's got something on it already. Straight out of the factory. And no, it doesn't come off. It's almost like it got scuffed as it went through the... Oh, there it is right there. Through the, through the printing and cutting process. So, pretty unfortunate. Thankfully, it's not on my survival. God, man, now I can't stop seeing this card. Scrivener, Equilibrium. Always love the art to this. You got you got Jeff Miracola's Beebles in there doing their thing, whatever it is they do. No one knows. I don't even know if Jeff knows what they do. Oh, the spikes. Hatred. Oh, okay. That's a reserve list card. It's also a card that I think has been bought out recently. Used to see a fair amount of play. Doesn't see so much anymore. Fun card. I mean, it is what it is. But I still think it's pushing $20 now. Something crazy. We'll set that aside. It also looks very... Let's look here. Very clean. Centering's off a bit, but otherwise, I mean, it doesn't look, it's not bad. Yeah, probably grade well. I guess we'll find out here in a few months whenever I send it in. I usually don't send in cards like right away because you the more you send in, the better bulk rate you get. The last batch I sent off had 500 cards in it. So, Sphere of Resistance, not reserve list, worth some money. Great open. So far, this box is actually pretty good. I mean, for the card quality, not so much the reserve list cards, but let's see what else we can get. Miri. Cool legend. Wasn't half bad back in the day. 2-3 First Strike, well, and Forest Walk, is not really much of a thing anymore. Do we have a whole set of Price of Progress yet? Oh, there we go. City of Traders. That's what we wanted to see. All right, let's check it out. Sorry if it sounds kind of weird. I always have to tilt my head to the, the side so I can actually see the card. Otherwise, it's right in front of the camera. So, no surface issues there. Super, super clean. Centering. Gosh, it's so hard to get any card perfect for centering. It's just, especially on older stuff. Newer stuff, sure. So it's much easier. But anything in the early to pre two thousands is um, man, that'll I think that'll grade nice though. I have a nine five, a Beckett nine five at home. So I'll take it tonight and compare it to that. But I imagine it's well, as long as somehow I don't mess it up between now and then, it should be very similar. All right, well, Monstrous Hound. We have hit, honestly, uh, the two biggest hits you can get. This box is insane for these purposes of opening and grading. This box is nuts. Now if we could just get a recurring Nightmare or, you know, Second City of Traders, that's not asking too much, is it? 
Fighting Chance. Coin Flip. A Palooza. I've got a coin flip EDH deck. It's the only EDH deck I have. It's terrible. It's not technically legal because I play two unglued cards, but I don't really care. Oh, we're tie. There we go. Another guy that's going up. He's on the reserve list. He does something very cool and fun. He's a legend, which matters these days. And he, he's... Stop hitting the camera there. Very good shape. Centering is also off. You can, I mean, you can tell right here. You know, when you compare the corners, still worth grading. Gets a nine, maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll just get one of every reserve list card here. Although Exodus had a lot of duplication because it was a third set in the block. So it was smaller. No brooch. I like that card. It's fun. Let's see. Doctor Squadron. Another one that I used to play with as a kid. It's fun. All right, we got three, six, eight packs still. All right. Hopefully we can hit something big in the close here. Mana Bond. All right, that's a good card. It's not reserve list. It is worth some money. And uh, in this condition, it's definitely worth some money. So we'll set it there. So we've hit a lot of non reserve list cards, but they have, you know, a $10 to $20 value on a lot of them. Well, on some of them, I should say. Forbid. Flowstone Flood. Paladin and Vec. I think we got one of those. I think we got one. So not a lot of duplication in this one. I know in the previous box I've opened, there's been a fair amount. Reconnaissance. Pit spawn. Cool art. Very cool art. Tom Backs, I believe, right? Yep. Oh, killer whale. Look at that guy. You can give him flying. I guess he can jump out. Oh, man, this box is insane. Recurring Nightmare 2. It's well centered. Very, very clean. Very clean. All right, well. Maybe we'll hit that grading card minimum before long, before sooner than later. At this rate, workhorse. Eh. Again, I love the art. I love the art on all these saga sets and back. Are easily my favorite sets to for the for the original art. But nowadays, everything's pretty. Bland. There's good stuff. Don't get me wrong. And there's good artists, but compared to this stuff, it's to me it's bland. It's very bland. Oh, another spike weaver. Okay, I'll take a duplicate of that if we got to take them. We got two packs left. Man, this box is so good. I mean, it's hard to hard to ask for more. But I'd really like to see one more solid reserve list card in the close. Limited resources. I know this card was banned in several formats. <sighs> Does a very, well, messes with lands. So anytime that happens, people hate it. Or it's too good. One of the two. Final rare. And Ogre Shaman. Womp womp. Overall, though, this box is pretty insane. 
literally the heaviest hitting cards you can get. We got all three, and very, very nice. These two are very notable mentions. But man, these three. Woo! All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff you want to. No big deal. I do this for fun. I'm going to open this stuff anyway. I might as well catalog it, right? Anyway, I've got plenty more coming.